Hey, what's going on, guys? So, uh, got a couple reviews coming at you. We got uh, two reviews that we're going to do today that are going to be both from Lucky Craft, and they're both um, lipless crankbaits. And then we also have, let's see, we have these two, and then I have four more from my most recent tackle warehouse order that are lipless crankbaits, and then I'm going to move into some of the rip baits, and then I'll be done with all the reviews until I get the frogs later on this month. So uh, as far as this crankbait is concerned, this is the LV RTO, or, excuse me, RTO Takahiro Omori. Uh, this is a signature bait. Uh, it's probably, I, I believe it's the newest lipless crankbait to the lineup of the Lucky Craft lipless crankbaits. And there, there are a few Lucky Craft lipless crankbaits and I'll do my best to kind of uh, comb through them to kind of help you guys differentiate what you guys might be looking for in a Lucky Craft um, a lipless crankbait. So uh, there's several sizes, 50 size, 150, 200, 250. Um, I mainly fish with the 150 size. I have some of the 250 size. That's, that's the larger size, obviously, larger number, larger size. Um, but this is the 150 size. It has a length of two and a half inches, has a weight of a half an ounce, and it's a sinking variable depth crankbait. Now, um, the thing that I like about these crankbaits as far as uh, exclusive, the, exclusively to the Lucky Craft brand of look, lipless crankbaits, is pretty much can be said for uh, all the lipless or all of the Lucky Craft baits in uh, the entire lineup of Lucky Craft uh, hard baits is their selection of colors. So that's something that they're they're really known for. Um, they really come with a, a great selection of colors. They look great, uh, very appealing to to bass and anglers alike, and. Um, and they really hold up well. Um, this crankbait here, this is the T.O. Gill color. This is probably my favorite color that I have. This is probably my favorite lipless crankbait to throw right here. I've caught buku amounts of fish on it. And um, uh, I probably need to have several more of them. I have the larger size and then I have this size. But I don't, I don't have another one just in case I lose it. But uh, you can see it's got some hook rash on it on the side of it. But for the most part, for, uh, especially for the amount of fish that I caught on it, you can look at the back here. You can see it's got some hook rash on the back. Those are actually teeth marks on the back because the hooks don't reach up there. So you can see that this thing has actually caught quite a few fish. Uh, you see the signature Takahiro Amori signature right there on the leading uh, the, the leading head or edge if you want. Um, but uh, this crankbait just really does catch a lot of fish and I really like how robust uh, Lucky Craft makes their their finishes on their bait. So uh, if you guys are ha have complaints about finishes holding up, Lucky Craft really does seem to do a good job. Uh, especially if you stay away from the foil patterns. Generally speaking, most manufacturers have a hard time keeping the foil patterns on the on the plastic bait. It's just a adherence problem with uh, foil patterns staying on staying on. Um, on plastic baits. Uh, I think that that's pretty much universal. Some manufacturers do it better than others, but uh, for the most part, uh, because foil patterns are pretty are pretty popular, especially in moving reaction baits like, like the lipless crankbait. So um, one of the things that I like about this crankbait is it resembles very, very closely one of my favorite crankbaits that I that I still like using to today, but I've caught a lot of fish on it uh, as well, and that's the Excalibur XR50. Um, they have a a similar action to them. The the Lucky Craft feels uh, slightly heavier. Jeez, this is picture is not very good, but um, but the uh, the the bait as far as the the way that it looks, the the overall profile of the lure is pretty much. Pretty much the same. Uh, the Takahiro Mori has a, a little fatter, uh, a little fatter width to it here, and uh, the edges are a little bit harder on them. On, on this one, they're a little bit more rounded. Uh, they both have a great vibration in the water, um, and they both have a, a really nice vibration, uh, a, a sensation that you can feel all the way through to the rod tip. I'll go ahead and give them a shake so you can kind of hear what they're about. Here's the Takahiro Mori. And here's the XR50. XR50 is probably uh, slightly louder than the than the Takahiro Mori, but uh, they both do have a, a very nice uh, uh, 
feel at the, at the end of the rod tip, especially if you're, when you're using those softer crankbait rods uh, that kind of dampen that, that feel for you. Um, you can still feel that vibration at the end of your rod tip with, with these style of crankbaits. So that's something that I really like in, uh, in both of those crankbaits respectively. Now, um, also you can see that it's got an oval split ring on the top, which is something that I really like, especially when you're tying, untying, when you're fishing out of a kayak or whatever, um, you usually don't have four or five rods tied up with different lipless crankbaits. Uh, for me, I have one rod, I'm throwing one lipless crankbait. If I want to change up colors, I'm cutting it off and I'm retying. So uh, when you have stuff like, like uh, oval split rings, that just really helps uh, for ease of tying and getting it right the first time because you're not going to tie um, inadvertently on that, on that break which could cause you to fray your line. It, it, it will almost always tie at the correct end of the, of the oval split ring. Now, you have, the, you have the LVRTO, you have the LV500. Now, the LV500 has several sizes. You have the LV500, you have the uh, LV300, which I think is the same size, but a non-rattling version. The LV100, there's, there's several more, but varying sizes. And then you have the, um, the LVR. Now, with these three crankbaits, all by Lucky Craft, um, you might ask yourself, you know, what's the deal? Why so many crankbaits? What, what's the point? Well, I'll try to do my best to explain to you. I, I'm going to do the review on this crankbait next. This is the LVR, so I'm not going to go into it a ton. If you guys want to know more about this crankbait, uh, just look at the next review. But as far as these crankbaits are concerned, think about it like this. Deep water, fast, fast um, uh, sink with also a great vibration. Um, think heavier weeds, uh, more shallow uh, style, like uh, like water or depth of, of water um, because it doesn't have a, a really great vibration but it has a very thin profile and it comes to the weeds a little bit better than, than either of, the, of these other ones. And then think kind of like a more universal, uh, like a search bait style crankbait here on the bottom. That's kind of like why I, I like using this one the most because this one is very very specific for me uh, because it does fall so quickly and this one doesn't give me that feedback that I really like when I'm when I'm using a lipless crankbait to find fish now if I know if I've located them and I and I'm in a situation where I'm looking for fish or I know where they are and they're and they happen to be in a heavily vegetated area what not so not so heavy that I can't throw a lipless crankbait. Uh, I might switch to something like this. Uh, it doesn't have that great feedback like these two have, but uh, but still good enough to where you can you can throw it out there, catch fish, and it doesn't have as quick of a fall. Um, this one has more of a medium fall. This one's like fast, medium, slow. That's kind of the way that these these ones work. So um, that's kind of the best way I can describe these as far as uh, my use for these crankbaits. Um, for those of you guys that like the Strike King Red Eye Shad, uh, because of that 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 quivering wobble on on the way down on a slack line, how it kind of just it kind of does this number on the way down, uh, not that exaggerated, more like this on the way down. This one has a medium fall and it has that quivering effect on the way down. So it's something that's very desirable amongst uh, lots of lipless crankbait fishermen that are out there. And, uh, and it is something that I like because sometimes I do like to rip it up out of the weeds and kind of let it fall, you know, two or three feet. And usually they'll smash them on that when they're on a lipless crankbait uh, bite. They'll smash them on that, on that quivering fall. Sometimes they just want them burned right through the weeds. Uh, that's when you would use possibly something like this or maybe even an LVRTO that really does have that nice sensation at the end of the rod tip. So um, just a, a really nice crankbait. It is expensive. Uh, a, a nice alternative to, to this crankbait would be the XR50 because uh, the going rate for these are about five or six bucks. In my area, you can even find them on clearance for two to three dollars. So this is a great, this is like a great bargain style crankbait with some uh, really good patterns. I've caught buku amounts of fish on this one as well. Uh, if you want some better patterns and a more robust uh, overall crankbait with the better plastic and better paint jobs and better hooks and all all, all over just a better crankbait, uh, maybe not. Uh, I wouldn't say it's more productive. I would just say maybe just more quality.
and I use that word very, very carefully because I really do like that XR50 a lot. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm definitely not saying that the XR50 is a lesser crankbait because it's not. I'm just saying that this one has some more quality components to it. So it's a, a very, very nice crankbait. I, I really enjoy it. I'm glad that I found it. Uh, I've only been fishing with it for maybe a little over a year, but uh, very nice crankbait. So I'll go ahead and go, go over the colors for you. This is T.O. Gill. Um, basically a bluegill pattern. You can see the, the vertical lines there, black back, kind of purple shoulders, and overall chartreuse, um, overall chartreuse body to it. Very nice crankbait. I like them when they don't have a, a very highly exaggerated chartreuse on them. I like them when, when the chartreuse is still kind of muted on it. I mean, it, it's really a loud, it's a, it's a loud fluorescent yellow on it, obviously, but, um, but it's muted by the by the vertical stripes on it and the black back. It kind of just helps it um, uh, calm down that yellow a little bit. So there's a there's Tio Gill. All the Tio colors in this lineup are extremely nice. Tio Shad Gill, uh, Ghost Crawl, Tio Crawl. All, all those Tio colors, very very nice. Here's Tio Gill. Next one we have here is T.O. Shad. There's another one that I've caught uh, quite a few fish on. The, the uh, opaque colors like these, uh, fishing in slightly stained water. These two, slightly stained water. Uh, you can even fish with this one in clear water. But the more opaque colors as opposed to like, this is a transparent color. But this one being that it has some yellow in it and it looks like a bluegill. Throw that up on the beds and the shallows. That's a great, that's a great little crankbait there. But uh, T.O. Shad, you got that glitter spot here. You can actually kind of feel the glitter on it, and it's got that nice uh, scale pattern there on the back. A lot of glitter in this bait with an overall opaque white paint job. You see it says LVRTO150. There's T.O. Shed. All right, guys, so this is my review of the Lucky Craft LV RTO. If you guys have any feedback that you would like to share, please leave your comments down there at the bottom. Uh, this is a fantastic little crankbait if you guys can find them uh, in your area, especially when you can find them for like 10 or 11 bucks because it is an expensive crankbait at anywhere from 15 to 19 dollars, depending on the size of crankbait that you buy. But a uh, uh, very, very nice crankbait. If you guys like the video, please hit the like button down here in the lower left corner. I really appreciate that. Stay tuned for the next review. We're going to do the LVR from Lucky Craft right after this one. Thanks a lot.